Save us, O Lord, carry us back. Rouse your power and come. Rescue your people, show us your face. Bring us back. O shepherd of Israel, hear us. Return and we shall be saved. Arise, O Lord, hear our cries, O Lord, bring us back. Save us, O Lord, carry us back. Rouse your power and come. Rescue your people, show us your face, bring us back. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. peace be with you. Today we gather together to celebrate this Mass today, and as we remember St. Henry II, who together with the wife respected the freedom of the Church and never interfered with the operations of the Church, and at the same time reached out to the poor and in many ways created a good environment for the reformation of the monastic church. We give thanks to God that he has enabled us in our own small ways to contribute to the growth of the kingdom of God. And as we come together as a faithful people to God, let us put faith in the little things that we do for the sake of the love of God, for the sake of the love of his kingdom. In order to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us ask for God's mercy and pardon. You came to call sinners, Lord have mercy. You forgive us our trespasses, Christ have, Christ have mercy. You intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all for the faith they profess, are recounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear the word of the Lord, princes of Sodom. Listen to the instruction of our God, people of Gomorrah. What care I for the number of your sacrifices, says the Lord? I have had enough of whole burnt rams and fat of fatlings. In the blood of calves, lambs, and goats, I find no pleasure. When you come in to visit me, who asks these things of you? <clears throat> Trample my courts no more. Bring no more worthless, worthless offerings. Your incense is loathsome to me. New moon and Sabbath, calling of assemblies, octaves with wickedness, these I cannot bear. Your new, moons and, your new moons and festivals I detest. They weigh me down. I tire of the load. When you spread out your hands, I close my eyes to you. Though you pray the more, I will not listen. Your hands are full of blood. Wash yourselves clean. Put away your misdeeds from before my eyes. Cease doing evil. Learn to do good. Make justice your aim. <clears throat> Redress the wrong. Hear the orphans plea. Defend the widows. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifice, sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no goats out of your fold. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statutes and profess my covenants with your mouth, though you hate discipline and cast my words behind you? To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. When you do these things, shall I be deaf to it? Or do you think that I am like yourself? I will correct by drawing them up, um, up before your eyes. He that offers praise as a sacrifice glorifies me. And to him that goes the right way, I will show the salvation of God. To the upright, I will show the saving power of God. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, Do not think that I have come to bring peace upon the earth. I have come to bring not peace but the sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against his mother, and a daughter-in-law against mother-in-law, and one's enemies will be those of his household. Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me, and whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me, and whoever receives me receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives a prophet because he's a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever receives a righteous man because he is righteous will receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives only a cup of cold water to one of these little ones to drink because he is a disciple, a man I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. When Jesus finished these commands to his twelve disciples, he went away from the place to teach and to preach in their towns. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. For those of you who are married, for those of you who are in relationships with your significant other, for those of you who grew in the family, and for those of you who are in the family, there is one constant thing that runs for a family that stands. And that is called love. If there's no love between husband and wife, they cannot come together to raise a family. And that love does not come alone. That love comes with death. 
Hello? <laughs> that love comes with death. There are so many things a wife dies to for the sake of the husband. There are so many things a wife dies to for the sake of the husband. There is many things the husband dies to for the sake of the wife. So for that love to continue, for that love to grow, for that love to raise a family, there must be sacrifices. That's what I'm calling death. If when I was alone at my father's house, I could sleep until 10, but when I get married, I have to be responsible enough to know time to sleep, time to work, time to provide, time to love, time to say good morning, honey, time to say good night, honey, time to ask, where are we going to eat tonight? You don't get in the car, just go to some place and eat and come back. I've already eaten. No. <laughs> we are dying to something in order to love. For you to raise those children, you are dying to something in order to express that love to those children, to take them to school, to pay their fees. Who could not love to go to, to the Caribbean for a one-month holiday? But you save that money, you pay for school fees, you pay for the kids, you pay for the housing, you pay for the water, you pay for all these things. Because you love, that means you are dying to your pleasure in order to love. This is what Christ is teaching us today. He loved us, and for that love, he had to sacrifice his life in order to love us. To show that love, to give us that love, he had to die. And now he's asking us, for those of you who have come to love me, you have also to die to something in order to give that love to others. That's why he's saying, whoever loves mother more than me is not worthy of me. It's not saying that you reject your mother, or you reject your father, or you reject your daughter, or you reject your grandfather, or your relatives. No. What he's teaching us today is the ability to sacrifice for this love that we have for Christ the ability to sacrifice for that love we have for Christ. What are we willing to sacrifice for that love? So many things that we sacrifice. So that love of God that we have in our hearts calls for a lot of sacrifice. So my message for you here today is one. For us to show this love of God in our hearts, let us put that love into action. Show it by what we do, by what we say, by the relationships that we create, by the friends that we attract, and the friends we help to reform to become part of the kingdom, to become part of this love of God, to help to spread the kingdom of God. The same way St. Henry, whose feast day is today, the, um, the memorial day is today, who also put that love of Christ into action by respecting the freedom of the church, reaching out to the poor, helping in the reformation of the monastic life of the church. What are we able to do in order to spread this kingdom of God? That's the only way we shall show the love that God has given to us the love of God, the ability to grow that kingdom among us. Remember, love comes with sacrifice. death, and that death is the forms of sacrifices that we make each and every day. Love comes with death, and that was Christ did. He came, he died, he gave us salvation, he sanctified us. He gave us the freedom from sin. He gave us his mercy. And he is asking us sacrifice for this greater love of God. Let us bring our petitions to the Lord. Humbly beseeching him 
that in his mercy he may hear our prayers as we pray for us your rest, remed your rest, and their families. And Horacio Reyes, Jr. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, may God the Father grant him the wisdom of the Spirit and the heart of his Son to unify the Church. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who serve in positions of civil authority, may God's peace reign through them in place of the sword and division. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from unjust treatment or discrimination, may the Lord encourage them and deliver them from their ritual, their trials. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of faith, may God provide us with courage and strength as we carry our own crosses. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may the mercy and love of God Enfold them and bring them to eternal life. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our and for the intentions that we have in our hearts and for those worshiping with us online, that the Lord may listen to our petitions and grant them. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our Father, you ask great things of us as we strive to follow the way of your cross. Hear the prayers we offer today. We ask through Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes our prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things. Give us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in form of God, He emptied Himself and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him, he has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Sana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Sana in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said a blessing, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring out the fullness of charity together with friends of our Pope, Gustav, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mass on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And now let us pray with the Father in the words of our Savior taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, allowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not temptations. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. You, Let us show each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the, <coughs> the sins of the world. Blessed are we, called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
this time to receive our Lord in the Holy Communion. For those who are unable to receive, just come forward, fold your hands across your, your chest, and you shall receive a blessing. And keep on your mask until you receive, then remove and commend yourself. Savior and your Lord. Look beyond the cup you drink. See his love poured out as blood. Give us a sign that we might believe in you. beyond the bread you eat. See your Savior and your Lord. Look beyond the cup you drink. See his love poured out as blood. I am the bread Savior and your Lord. Look beyond the cup you drink. See his love poured out as blood. Look beyond the bread you eat. See your Savior and your Look beyond the cup you drink. See his love poured out as blood. And for those of us unable to receive the Holy Communion today, let us make a spiritual communion with him by praying the following prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you, Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by the participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ our Lord. And now let us pray for our situation in which we are, the pandemic. We pray to Our Lady to guide us through. Our Lady of Guadalupe, in these times of tribulation, we turn to you, O Mother. We see compassion, the suffering of your beloved sons and daughters affected by the coronavirus pandemic throughout the entire world. Ask your son to have mercy on us bringing healing to those infected and protection to all your children. Jesus Christ, Savior of all people, grant us courage to accompany and to care for the entire world in the wake of sorrow and uncertainty. We seek refuge in you 
and according to your promise, deliver us from the danger. Amen. St. Anthony of Padua. Whoever loves his mother, his father, his daughter, his son, more than me is not worthy of me. The Lord is asking us to give him prominence in our lives, but not to reject our family members, but to give God prominence in our lives. Remember, love comes with death, which means sacrifices. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, our mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Save us, O oh Lord, and carry us back. Rouse your power and come. Rescue your people, show us your face. Bring us back. How long will you hide from your people? We long to see your face. Give ear to us, draw near to us, Lord God of hosts. Save us, O oh Lord, carry us back. Rouse your power and come. Rescue your people, show us your face, bring us back.